Hello? This is Rachel Swanson. Hello, this is Mrs. Victoria Stockdale. Are you any relation to Tony? Yes, I'm his stepmother. What's the matter? Dear, I... There's, there's been an accident. I hate to tell you this, but... Tony's dead. He's dead? What do you mean, he's dead? It's true. Tony flew out of his helicopter this morning and there was a crash. You're lying to me. Who are you? I, I've already told you. I'm, I'm Tony's stepmother. Tell her you tell me. Rachel, we really shouldn't be talking about this on the telephone. Please come here right away. Where? Where is here? You are home in Acapulco. Who died? Tony. Why? It can't be. I mean, he said he had no family. Who was that woman on the phone? Yeah, what's his stepmother? His stepmother? She said that he was um flying on a helicopter and it crashed. His helicopter? anything about this? No. How could he just go off and get married and not tell me? Do we know anything at all about this? No. But I know one thing. That is, Tony was always kind of strange. Oh, but Max, how could he go off and get married and not... She, she lives in San Francisco. We don't even have an office in San Francisco. Of course we don't. The truth of the matter is, we never knew where Tony went on his little trips, really. The only reason we knew we went to San Francisco at all is because I found the plane ticket. What are we going to do when this woman gets here? We are going to welcome her to our home. All right? Now, I have doubts that this woman was ever really Tony's wife. Yeah. I'm going to do some investigating. What we have to do, we have to make sure that the press doesn't have a field day with this. Oh, Let me investigate her and her family. Have you said he lived in Acapulco? No. He just said that the company that he worked for was based there. <laughs> he had an apartment here. What did she mean by his helicopter? I don't know, honey. And what if this is a mistake? I mean, what if this is someone with the same name? How could that woman know your name and your phone number? Oh no, Mike. I mean, if this is really true, what do you said, what am I gonna do? I don't know, but you gotta stay calm for now. Yeah. How can I be calm? Okay, the man that I just married is dead. Okay. Okay, we've gotta go to Oxford. Call the airline. There aren't any flights going out tonight. We'll hop on the first flight tomorrow, okay? Did she give you the address of where they live? No. No? How could you how could you hang up with her and not get the address? Marty, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking about that, okay? I was thinking about something. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I it's okay, we'll just we'll find the house when we get there, alright? I really hope this whole thing is a mistake. I really do. You suppose Tony had a will? I don't know. Mm. God, maybe he left everything to Victoria. Well, we can fight that court. I mean, after all, you are his sister. Will you shut up? What you're thinking about is what you get out of it. Darling, I'm just looking out for you. I mean, can you imagine if you left it all to Max? Oh, God, he hates us. You think we'd have a chance if we contested the will in court? 
certainly. Hello? Did Tony have a will? No, he didn't. Oh, I wouldn't start counting your chickens if I were you to. Why's that? Because you're not getting anything. Why not? Because the person that gets everything is Tony's wife. <laughs> Tony's wife? Tony wasn't married. Yes, he was. He was married yesterday to a woman from San Francisco. Her name is Rachel Swanson. Or actually, I should say, Rachel Stockdale. You really think that woman was telling the truth? I don't know. I'll find out when we get there tomorrow. Of that woman, a letter from her. I know I can't find anything either. Are you going to go pick up the remains? Well, there's really no need to, Mom. You see, police are handling whatever's left of them. The crash makes it really difficult to identify oh, them. Different. Awful way to die. I know. Mother, I'm going to be going to San Francisco tomorrow. But the services are tomorrow. Life is going to look awfully strange if you're not here for your own brother's funeral. I have to go. I have to find out who this Rachel woman is. And in the meantime, if somebody asks you, say that you know her. Oh my God, the press. You're going to ask all sorts of questions. Don't worry about the press. I've already spoken with Mr. Packard. He's going to take care of everything. If somebody asks you if you knew about the wedding, say yes. But you have to convince Rachel to say the same thing. Mother, if we appear normal, press, so leave us alone. Now we have to do it for Tony. You know how he hated scandals involving the family. Scandals? Yeah, Only for a few hours. What's best for Tony? Trust me, Mother, I know what I'm doing.
I just got off the phone with the police. And they've been unable to find the remains. So I think we better go on with the memorial service without the body. A wife. How is that possible? What are you talking about? You told everyone else you knew her before. I told you the truth. Please keep it to yourself. Tony Stockdale lives? I mean, lives? Yes, it is. May we come in? Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. No visitors allowed. Okay, let's talk. Um, we'll have to stand I'm sorry. What? Yeah, she's a widow. Are you really his widow? Uncle Martin, Uncle Martin! Where's all the bad men? No, no, no. You, you, you grab his arms and I'll take his neck. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. So strange. I feel like I just walked into a movie. Lord, this has got to be a mistake. God, I hope it is. Not one thing. Nothing. I 
have a feeling he was marked. They took everything. Why didn't they take the watch? Yeah, the watch. That doesn't make sense. Tony Stark. I'll see, as soon as this woman gets here, we can just clear everything up. Tony never mentioned a family. Besides, I mean, if this was his house, why wouldn't he tell me about them? Sorry to keep you girls waiting. Which one is Miss Rachel? I am. Ma'am, this is my sister Marnie. Uh, look, I think there's been a big mistake. Tony never mentioned a family. And I know he's not rich enough to live in a place like this. Is this yours? Yes, it is. <laughs> We found it in his room along with the ticket. The ticket stuff from his trip to San Francisco. No, yeah. oh, oh, please. Please. calm down. This can't be, can't be dead. I don't want it. Oh. You're the same way. We were all stunned by the news. I don't want to Not at this dear. He said that he just had to return to take care of some problems. Rachel, do you know that he never even mentioned you to us? He didn't. I don't know why he didn't, but he must have had his reason. Now, I know this is very difficult for you. I'm going to ask you to be strong right now and face the back. Can you girls bring anything for a few minutes? No, we didn't have anything appropriate. You just didn't have time to go shopping. Come in. James, would you please bring some Valium for this young lady? And also, would you ask Camille to go through her closet and find something for the girls to wear to the Maybe. You know, this was all really shocking to us. Um, Tony led us to believe that his pet phone was to leave us. She will work it out. I'll be right back. What do we do now? I don't know. Should, should we get a doctor? Mm -hmm. Go all the way into town? And how are we going to pay? He has no money. You should watch. Sure. And then he can say, we took it away, and he will put us in jail, huh? What if he dies? You know, all this is your fault. We should have left his there with you, Pancho. I was looking for Pancho. Speaking of Pancho, go and find him before he gets into trouble. I'll stay here for in case he wakes up. Hurry up, hurry up, muchacho. So you're going to have to try to be strong now, okay? You want me to stop down, Sam? You're the person's girl, so. Rachel, I'm sorry. But it's time for us to go. 
Oh, you girls remember what I said. Don't answer any questions from the reporters. Don't even talk to them. You may tell our friends that we've known each other before. Okay. All right, dear? Okay. I want you to be very, very careful here. Our family's highly visible, and we can't afford a scandal. Yes, ma'am. You don't have to worry about anything. Let's go. Okay. Haven't they come out yet? No, not yet. Oh, well, have you seen her? I mean, what sort of woman is she, anyway? Victoria hasn't let me see her. I had to loan her some decent clothing, so I can only imagine. Oh, God, I mean, what was Tony thinking? He must have been nuts. Where's Max? Camille? Clark? This is Rachel. Nice to meet you. And this is her sister, Marnie. Pleased to meet you. Where's Max? You must be at the funeral home, dear. Max is my son. Well, I think it's time to go. so he won't get away again, huh? Where's, where's his watch? I, I put it away. Why? Why? Because it won't do him any good if he dies. Maybe we should take him out to the road and, and wait for a car. What do you take him all the way up there? Or if he kicks it on the way over, we are going to be blamed, huh? What are we going to do? We, we can't just let him die here without doing anything. I'm so sorry. The only thing that seems to be broken is his head. Maybe he has an internal bleeding or something. Look, he's waking up. He's gonna notice that he's watching his head. Hey, 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 hey. Take it easy, take it easy. You have a horrible cut on your head. What happened to you? Oh, you're okay, Mom. Okay, Mom. Okay, Mom. Okay, Mom. I think you were mocked in because you ain't got nothing in your pockets. No money, no nothing. No, I was in, I was in a helicopter. A helicopter? What happened? Did it fall? I don't know. I don't know. Who are you? Who are, where, who are you? My name is Martin Lopez and this is my nephew Pablo. Where's my pilot? Pilot? Yeah, my pilot. I don't know. We only found you. Give me your phone. Do you have a phone? Uh, phone too? We ain't got no phone. Why do I need a doctor? Where's the closest doctor? Well, the closest doctor is in town and it is several hours away. I don't care what it takes, what it costs you. Bring the doctor here, please. Johnny! Well, 
doing is the girls are not vocal. I know that. I haven't spoken to you? Oh. About what? Yeah. I'm going to tell you a short story. Okay? For a while now, you and your pal, Roger, have been selling items that are, shall we say, caliente. <laughs> What does that mean? Stolen? <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't. I right, sell so used things and I sell old things. Stolen things. Don't try to do that. I assure you. Okay. Assure me. But I assure you that anything I sell, if it's stolen, I don't know about it. So that's not saying somebody didn't pull something on my partner. I don't know that either. Come on, Tony. You know, the, the, you must know that the, the out of all the stuff that I, I, I buy and sell and buy and sell, how, how, how am I supposed to know something's stolen? It's not that. Peter, may I call you Peter? You and your partner have men that bring you merchandise, am I correct? Yeah, so what? Okay. Now, these men bring you merchandise. You give them a receipt, and then you turn around and you sell the goods as if you really didn't know they were stolen. Right. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going to turn you into the police. That's not what I mean. Tony Stockdale's widow. You don't have to worry about the future. Widow. That ain't funny, do I? What do you mean, widow? Did you know that Tony Stockdale was one of the richest men in this country? Oh, come on. You're Tony Stockdale. Mm -mm. Here's the twist. Tony Stockdale, my half brother. My mother married his father. My real name. back later this evening and that everything was fine. Where was Matt? And what excuse could he possibly have for not attending the service? Rachel, you look exhausted. Would you like to go to your room and lie down? Yes, I think I should. Take a girl room. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for company. I'll be in to see you girls in the morning. Yes, ma'am. So, where was Matt? Max went to San Francisco. Check on Rachel and her family. She's from San Francisco. Yes, she is. Well, how did she meet Tony and wanted to get married in secret? I don't know. But evidently, Rachel thinks that we don't have any money. And Tony told her he didn't have any family. Why would he say that? I don't know. And I guess we'll never know that. Well, then is the marriage legal? That's what Max went to find out. Oh, Victoria, we've got to do something. It's not fair that she gets to keep it all. If this marriage is legal, there is nothing we can do about it. What if she kicks us all out on the street? She doesn't do that. She seems like a very nice girl. 
several people out there that were going to dispose of him sooner or later. I merely took advantage of the circumstances. Yeah. What happens if somebody finds out? No one ever will. My family's convinced that Tony married Rachel, and I have a marriage license to prove it. Wait a minute. You mean Rachel knows? Not yet. But I'm going to convince her to go along. But Peter, I need you to back me up. <laughs> I, get, I get the feeling that, that you want me to do something dishonest. That's a big stretch for you, is it? You've been doing dishonest things your whole life. Do one more, and it'll be worth millions. You choose. Live like a king, or survive like a rat. And remember, one anonymous phone call to the police and you spend the rest of your sorry days in jail. Well, you're blackmailing me. That's right. Maybe there's something you can start living like an in-law of Tony Stockdale. <clears throat> This table. She didn't. It's a photo montage. What the hell was that? It means it was done by a computer. Now listen to me. A lot of people are going to be coming, especially the media. And this. Well, look. Let's talk a minute about what you're going to tell people about Tony Stockdale. You better call Dad and tell him about me. May I come in? Oh, no. How are you feeling? Okay, I guess. Tony... Really didn't tell you about all of this? No. He said that he worked for a construction company. He had an apartment in San Francisco. The reason why we didn't see each other a lot was because he traveled so much. When did you meet? About three months ago. The place where I used to work. Do you have any other family other than your sister? Just my father. Look at me, we're very simple people. Can you please just let us spend the night? We'll go back to San Francisco in the morning. Well, why don't you get some rest now, and then we'll talk about it later, all right? Okay. There are some things that you need to know. The Stockdale name carries a great deal of prestige because of the company. It is a very public life, dear. There are some things that are going to come up that need to be handled in an appropriate way. You get some rest now. My son's coming back, Max. He's going to want to talk to you. Okay? Okay. Do you want to stay with your sister? Yeah, I'd like to keep her company for a while. That's a good idea. I'll, um, I'll be back to see you, girl. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So happy you're back, sir. Your mother's not doing well. Mm -hmm. Where is she? The widow, I mean. Mm. Your mother.
mother put her in one of the spare bedrooms next to Tony. Uh -huh. And she's asleep. Sister with her? No, she's dining with everyone else. Now listen to me, James. I don't want you to tell anybody that I'm back, you understand? Matter of fact, don't say a damn thing until I tell you to. I want to speak to this widow girl myself first. Very good, sir. Whatever you say. Have somebody put the car away. Thank I'm you. one of the guards. <laughs> It's around nine. What happened to my watch? Ay, ay, ay. I, I, I put it away for safety. I didn't want it to be stolen. Look. Here. You see the watch? Oh. Huh? I just wanted another time. When's your nephew coming back? Oh, I think it will take him a little while. Do you know why? Because first he has to go to the road. And then he has to take a bus. And then it all depends on the doctor if he has many people there. Hey, is it true that you were in a helicopter and crashed? I was in a helicopter. I'm to remember. I think that's when I hit my head. I don't. I don't remember what happened after that. Hmm. <sighs> 